During those last years, the men exchange extraordinary letters. My dear general and friend, I am retired to Monticello, <laughs> where from breakfast to dinner, I am in my shops, my garden, or on horseback among my farms. My health is perfect. My honorable friend, please accept my sentiments of friendship, esteem. Come and lay your bones with mine in the cemetery of Monticello. Jefferson invites Kosciusko to come and live at Monticello. Close a life of liberty in a land of liberty. So that our bones may be mixed together for eternity. I am very grateful for your kind invitation. But Kosciusko declined the offer. He realized he wouldn't make a trip across the Atlantic again. But he made sure to remind his friend of the will and the money's purpose. I am asking you if you would arrange, since you have the full power of my capital, of which you know the unchanging destination after my death. Liberty in my name. So he's writing Jefferson within a year of his own death saying, you know where that money is supposed to go. My dear friend, should any accident happen to you, its charitable destination will not be at all delayed. I embrace you a thousand times from the bottom of my heart. Adeusz Kościuszko.